I'm back with another tutorial and uh, as you see uh, Freenet finally released the uh, um, 11.42 stable versions in uh, I think a couple of days ago in uh, December 5th I believe so um, for this tutorial I'll show you how to install uh, Freenet 11.42 uh, using the Dell virtual um, uh, we're gonna mail it into a Dell virtual uh, CD uh, ROM instead of uh, install it, um, mail it to a USB drive and then uh, install it, uh, plug it in and install it. We're gonna do it remotely. Uh, so first, uh, download the um, ISO file, and uh, I already download one. And make sure that you do the checksum to make sure that. Uh, the file retain it the uh, entirety, it not uh, damage or anything. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's go to the downloaded file. And uh, if you don't know how to uh, do the checksum, look it up one of my uh, tutorial, or there are plenty of tutorial out there on uh, YouTube show you how to uh, do the checksum. There you go, free NAS eleven point two. Uh, next step is uh, to uh, log in into your uh, iTrack or uh, integrated Dell remote access controllers and then uh, from the iTrack menu you're gonna go to uh, the virtual console review and you hit uh, launch continue run and run and then pop up the com virtual console uh, view uh, before you uh, power on your system uh, we're gonna mount a virtual uh, we're gonna connect a virtual media all right and uh, you're gonna map a CD DVD So this is when uh, we're gonna locate uh, um, the ISO file in the directory where you download it. So I put it in uh, download and uh, ISO. There you go. And FreeNAS eleven forty two open and map the tray. So the downside it uh, it gonna be slower than uh, installed using a USB. Uh, obviously, the speed it depend on uh, your network speed and uh, what your hardware capable of. But it convenient, so I like to do it that way. There you go. So next boot device, boot device, we're gonna change it to a virtual CD. DVD ISO hit OK and now we're gonna power on the system and hit yes even though I already said the next boot device gonna be uh, boot into the virtual console uh, I still gonna go to the boot menu for some reason uh, a lot of time that they are not actually booting in the um, virtual uh, media like the CD uh, DVD or ISO ROM it just skip it for some reason so I, I'm still gonna go to the boot manager anyway And here it is, it boot up. Uh, BIOS boot manager is going to be F11, so go ahead and hit F11.
And right here I have the um, LSI SAS 23OC uh, OA. It's been flashed to uh, IT mode. Uh, FreeNAS controller is pretty bad for uh, FreeNAS. Um, you you need to use a uh, HPA uh, pass through uh, for the controller instead of uh, control using array controllers. That's one of the reason why um, that causing the fan speed issue for the Dell uh, Power H R720 uh, or uh, the 12th generation uh, Dell server um, the the minute that you uh, insert the third party rate controllers or even uh, the the Dell Ray controller has been flashed to IT mode. It cannot recognize by iTrack as a third party, and uh, I don't know why they do that. But um, they gonna ramp up the fan speed because they saying it's third party um, Ray controllers, and they make sure it's cool. So just something to keep in mind, and uh, the fan is pretty like really pretty loud if you plan to using it in your office or living room. Uh, definitely not gonna work but there's a workaround for it you can actually set the uh, static fan control or uh, color manual control to uh, fan speed and uh, I happen to have it in one of my tutorial uh, so check it out one of the video if uh, you run into that issue so we're gonna go to uh, BIOS boot menu and it uh, scanning for devices Alright, first option is going to be normal, uh, the other four that uh, my uh, network interface and uh, hard try. Uh, so right now the slot number 5 that the uh, 3 tetra uh, by hard try uh, for my, uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be added into the uh, free net pool uh, and then I have uh, one uh, US, uh, internal USB flash drive um, that's gonna be uh, where the um, I'm gonna install the freeness uh, on. So we're gonna go to um, Virtual CD, which is a uh, will email the ISO uh, file freenet uh, twelve forty two in it. You hit enter, and there it is. It's not loading from the CD. That is it putting uh, it booting into uh, FreeNAS installers. And uh, we're gonna select the first option install or upgrade. Okay. And uh, it's gonna ask you to uh, select the uh, installation uh, try uh, or media. What's one uh, you wanna install it? So um, I wanna install it on my uh, Samsung flash drive, 30 gigabyte. So you go down. To the device that you uh, gonna install the um, FreeNAS on, and uh, you hit uh, select it with the uh, space, and uh, hit enter.
So because I already have the existing uh, free NAS uh, installed on my system, it's gonna prompt me whether I want to upgrade it or I want a fresh install. Uh, so I install uh, free NAS, the unstable version before the stable version come out just to do some testing. So now I want to uh, do the fresh install and start over. If you are uh, installed on the new device, um, it's not going to ask you any of the questions. And it asks you to receive with the installation, yes. It can ask you to create a root password uh, so that you can uh, log in onto the web man uh, management interface. So we're going to go ahead and create a password. And uh, we're gonna boot uh, via BIOS. Enter. All right. So now we got the free NAS successfully installed on uh, Dell servers. Yep. Okay. And it already uh, installed on the server, so next step we're gonna reboot the system and hit OK. And don't forget to uh, unmail or disconnect the virtual media. There you go. Once it uh, reboot, it should uh, automatically uh, pick up the um, USB flash drive and uh, boot into FreeNAS uh, OS. But if it not, then uh, you just uh, reboot the console. And you don't have to reboot the console. Uh, just hit the F11 and then go to the boot menu and then select the your boot drive. And uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.